From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Hi there, I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I'm Tyler Hughes with your CNET forecast from Campus Weather Service. And let's start with a look outside our weather window over the course of the day today at Beaver Stadium. A nice sunrise this morning, but shrouded in a bit of fog that actually became a bit more dense. So around 7, 8 o'clock or so, but that fog quickly began to burn off around 10, 11 o'clock. And the rest of the afternoon has been gorgeous. Lots of blue skies, plenty of sunshine, and very comfortable out there as well. If you had a chance to step outside, you know. But if you were out this morning, maybe 6, 7 o'clock, it was very chilly and low temperatures early this morning, 45 degrees in State College, 42 in the northern tier of Bradford. And I know some places even got down into the 30s in Pennsylvania early on this morning. And so that's why we dealt with fog in some of those valley areas. When temperatures get to be that cool, especially when there's just a bit of moisture in the air, that's when we start to see some of the fog developing in some of those lower lying areas. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bit of valley fog too tomorrow in the morning as well. But lots of blue skies this afternoon. Our Pittsburgh camera appears to have gone out. Oh, there, there it goes, right back. And you can see lots of sunshine really throughout this, this afternoon, not just here in State College. Harrisburg, Erie as well. So it's been a gorgeous day. Tomorrow shaping up much the same. A few degrees warmer in some locations. I do think we get up into the mid-70s tomorrow in the afternoon. Bit of a chilly start once again. Again, I wouldn't be surprised to see some of those fog, valley fog in some of those low-lying areas. But then as we head toward the afternoon, another gorgeous day shaping up. Temperatures about average for this time of year as well. 75 is my high for tomorrow in State College, and the normal high is 76. So we're right about average for where we should be in terms of high temperatures for the beginning of September. This blue area here is the high pressure that's been keeping us dry and relatively comfortable over the last few days. But notice as we head late in the day on Friday, this area of low pressure begins to develop and that will bring us some unsettled conditions late in the night Friday and early on through the day on Saturday as well. You can see the low pressure moving right over central Pennsylvania Saturday morning and beginning to intensify just a little bit. So Saturday, I do have some showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder in the forecast for the afternoon hours. Really, that's the only precipitation we see for the next few days. Could see an isolated shower developing late in the night Friday as the low pressure system arrives. But Saturday is our most robust chance for some shower activity and we begin to dry things out dramatically as we head towards Towards Sunday and Monday. So if you have any outdoor plans, you can shift to Sunday. Unfortunately, we can't with the Penn State football game. But if you do, uh, Sunday would be my pick of the weekend. Much cooler as well. High temperatures only in the 60s for the vast majority of us. This evening, a low of 46 degrees. It will be clear and cool. Again, it wouldn't surprise me to see some patchy fog. And tomorrow, a high of 75 degrees. Another really comfortable day. If you didn't have a chance to get outside today and enjoy it, I would get outside tomorrow and enjoy the sunshine even just for a little while. And if you like the temperatures we've been seeing over the past few days, they'll be sticking around here beyond the seven day forecast. This is the six to 10 day temperature outlook and the Climate Prediction Center has us right about average in terms of temperatures for this time of year. You see though, the Western United States, they will be building in quite a bit of heat past the seven day period. We'll have to see how that develops. But for us, the only chance of rain I have in the forecast is Saturday. Once that moves out, We'll actually begin to see temperatures fall off quite a bit in the low to mid 60s for Sunday and then gradually warming up as we head into the beginning of next week with plenty of blue skies. So just keeping a close eye on the showers for the Penn State game on Saturday. I'm Tyler Hughes. I hope you have a great day.